All right, guys, before we get into this podcast, I want to let you guys know that this was filmed about three or four months ago, so it was a little bit too fresh for me to post it right away. I kind of like, um, I got emotional even thinking about the podcast in general, but this is to do with Pat Casey's passing, and this is also with having Reed Casey on there. He's an eight-year-old kid, so it's kind of hard to podcast with an eight-year-old child. It's cool to kind of listen to about his relationship with his father and stuff like that, and I, I had a good time, and everybody in this podcast really means so much to Reed and the Casey family, and I, I hope you guys enjoy this podcast. I'm excited to get this out to you guys. Please enjoy it. Love you guys. Also, more podcasts to come. All right, guys. Welcome back to a new podcast. Um, today, it's a little bit different of a scenery. We are out here at Pat Casey's house. Legend. Um, I'm really stoked to do this podcast. We, I made an Instagram post. I was just asking you guys where we, who sh we should have on the podcast. And Chase Casey is the one that said, you know, Reed and Debbie. So I thought it'd be a good idea to get Reed and Debbie. Reed is eight years old, so be mind. If, I don't think any eight-year-old has ever podcast before, but he's a mature kid. It'd be great to have him on. And uh, yeah, but first, I'm gonna introduce you guys to X Games medalist now. He is X Games medalist for best trick. Killed it this weekend. I'm very proud of him. Let's give a big round of applause, everybody, this huge audience, to Dubby. Caden Stone, come on in, brother. Right here. You're going to be have, to have to be like the big bro for du for uh, Reed because we don't know how. Yeah, I'll be the big bro for you to help you with this because you kind of need it close to your face a bit. Like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an ASMR type thing, you know? All right. It's going to fall over, so um, I'm just going to hold it. Also, we got Shelby, as always, co-hosting. He's the man, the myth, the legend. Thanks he helps out me. with all this setup. And we got Pinned Out as well. Pinned Out is always helping us with some good shit, too. Pinned Out's going crazy um, on the camera right now. Sweet. So before we get Reed on, I got some questions for you, man. What's up? I've known you for a while. We've been boys for a long time. Like, how did it feel this weekend? Surreal. Like, it, like Brady had his moment. I think, yeah. honestly, Brady's moment will probably be, like, one of his best moments of his life. Oh, no, yeah, definitely. I think that it definitely will be the best moment of his life. We talked about it before we went to X Games. We're like, yo, we're both going to go there, and we're going to get medals. And we both went there and got medals. So, <laughs> killed it. <laughs> Manifested it. So, you started off on dirt, and then dirt didn't go as planned. What was, like, your first run? Uh, My first run, I dropped in and did seven front flip to double whip, to cash roll, to truck. I messed up on the seven front, he over rotated, so it just kind of threw me off, and I was just like, fuck it. Dude, you know, what? <laughs> you know what's crazy nowadays? That's like a run that didn't make finals. The competition's too high, dude. Like, yeah. you're, you're raising the bar just a little much for yourself. Yeah. It's like, now how do you come back next year and top that? It's pretty Bigger tough. tricks, add a trick into the seven front. Um, I mean, I don't doubt anything you're gonna be doing, honestly. It's pretty wild. Um. Did you miss a spot, or were you just, like, sitting at the bottom? Because I remember I was there. For eliminations? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I qualified, like, 10th or something like that, which, to be honest, I'm I'm stoked with. I mean, I fucked up my run, and I got placed 10th, so, so I, don't, I don't know what to say. In mine, like, for you, you're a rookie, so it's, like, having to go first. Is oh, like, yeah. Like, it's for anybody that's, like, competing, like, going first is, like, it's the hardest part. It's because you like even if you throw like your most banger run, it's gonna be like, not you know judged the way. No, yeah, you, definitely like, mess up and then do your second run even more better. You know. Yeah, I th I feel like with Mega Park, especially with me going first, I think it kind of screwed me over with scoring wise. Yeah. Cause I've talked to like a lot of people and they definitely said that I deserved higher in Mega Park, but I got what I got and I'm stoked on it. So. Yeah, and if I were to be the devil's advocate of all that. I think they were judging more on height. Oh, you, yeah. You had height, like, on all everything. The yeah. quarters were just tough. No, oh, yeah. They looked insane. They were super tough. I would air him and try to pull out, and then I'd land flat, and I'd go try to do nothing and land flat. And I'm just like, what do I do? Like, <laughs> I don't understand. Dude, it, you also started at a very young age. Yes, started at three years old. And I know another guy that started has started at a very young age, and he's going to be one of the biggest things in BMX. Oh, definitely. And... I'm super stoked to announce him. Let's welcome our boy right here, Reed Casey. Reed. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Time. Dang, he brought us Modelo's. Dude. Sweet. Where's your Modelo, dude? He's, uh, he's eight years old. Maybe that's probably where it is. <laughs> <laughs> Want water? No, I'm good. Oh, man. 
That's exactly what Pat would do. So <laughs> your dad would have done the same thing. Welcome to the podcast, buddy. This is your first podcast ever, and you're probably the youngest to ever do a podcast. How does it feel? Good. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Reed, you're a, you're a little legend. Um, you've been progressing very fast. What's like your future goals in BMX? Or in ever, whatever. Like, what do you want to do? Ride my bike. That's cool. And just be like a professional like your dad? That'd be super rad, man. I'm super pumped for you, and I'm stoked for your future. That's going to be insane. So was it like, you were you a little jealous that Dubby's out there in X Games, and you're just thinking, like, you're going to beat him one day or what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I won't put him past it, bro. I think in the next few years he's going to be out there, and I'm going to be like, Oh, shit, it's Reed. <laughs> He's probably going to be riding just like Pat, too. Yeah, so it's going to be competition. So your dad was, <laughs> your, your dad is is and always will be a legend. Like, um, do you try to imitate, like, some of his cool tricks, like fakies? I seen you doing those earlier. Yeah. That's pretty rad, man. Trying to do fakies everywhere now. Yeah, he started it. That's that's definite for sure. Dubby, so you got invited to this first X Games, not to one event, but you got two events three three events yeah which is pretty rad and you managed to score silver yeah what is next now are you thinking of any video parts dude i mean i have a video part in mind uh i want to land <laughs> you might want to bleep that <laughs> i want to land that and i think i'm gonna have to talk to nitro or someone and get a ramp built for it because it has to be a huge ramp but yeah i don't know <laughs> i don't that's the only thing that I have in mind. I mean, I've kind of ex- exceeded the goals that I wanted to have. My biggest goal was to go to the Olympics, and I went there and got a medal. So now it's like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, man. Honestly, you're 19 years old. Yeah. You, you just got on Monster Army, which is dope. Congrats. Thank you. Um, it's You've come a long ways to just now get a energy drink sponsor. Oh, yeah. And they're treating you right. Everything's good. Yep. I've seen X Games. Uh, they do monster treats everybody, like, super well. Like, I don't yeah, know definitely. how they treat the other riders and stuff, but, like, I just see from the outside looking in, watching them the way they treat Monster is insane. Oh, yeah, they treat everyone with respect, and that's how it should be. Yeah. How was X Games for you, bud? It was fun. Good time? How'd you like the memorial? It was all really cool, too, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That made, that gave me some peace of mind. That was really cool. So, um, I got some other questions for Reed over here. It's kind of tough to, like, you know, talk to an eight-year-old child. Oh, yeah, definitely. Thing, but, you know, he's actually one of the boys. You're kind of mature for your age. Do you have, like, kids that are your age that you're friends with? Not really. No? No way. Not that much. <laughs> Who are, like, some of your main friends? Like, some kid right around the corner. His name is Joey. Joey's Joey. cool. How old is he? Like, my age. I'm pretty sure eight. Yeah. Damn. What does he do on a daily basis? Plays. Like in what way? Call of Duty. God. <laughs> Plays Call of Duty? That's dope. He's over here playing video games and Reed's over here doing fakies in the backyard. Does he ride bikes? A little bit. That's cool. Sometimes it's nice to have friends that don't do the same thing as you. Yeah. Sometimes it just makes you feel different. Being different was cool. Your dad was always different. He always tries to stay different. Definitely. With everything he did. What surprises me about you, Dubby, is you ride by yourself a lot. Yeah, every day. That's pretty wild. <laughs> it's different. Well, I mean, it's just like, it's kind of hard to find a group of riding buddies that I get along with and that I could actually, like, progress with. And when I came here and rode with Pat and Johnny, it was just like, I'd never wanted to ride with other people other than them. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you kind of found your group. Yeah, I found, like, I found my groove, and it was like, we push each other every day. You know, we'd come here, it was like, what trick are we doing? Okay, you're doing that. I'm doing this. Have these ever been done? We were like, like you know what I mean? Like, yeah. dude, these tricks haven't even been done, and we're just trying them straight to resi. <laughs> and honestly, some I remember he didn't even have the resi up, and you guys were still trying every single trick on just the step up straight dude, to wood. I think one day, I, dude, one day I came out here, and we were like, yo, we're sending seven fronties today. Pat sat on top of the ramp for two hours going back, like landing on his ass straight ass like from the sky like should have broke his spine. is that when he shit himself no, no, he, no. Didn't, he didn't shit himself <laughs> hey, Ev, i don't know he didn't say anything <laughs> about it but he fell from like 10 feet straight to his ass gets up and goes all right dude i'm going again and i'm like bro what the fuck you like how are you walking after that 
I don't know what it was. Like, especially, like, I don't know. I think just, like, age thing, you would think he would just kind of break apart. I mean, Chase probably knows. Does he ever just pain ever, like, just complain? Was he ever complaining? She says no. So crazy. So crazy. I'm, like, right around the same age as Pat, and I haven't slammed as much as him. And, dude, I just have pains all the time. Yeah. He only <laughs> Chase says no. he only complained about no, the weight of his jets. He complained about the messes in the house. <laughs> were you were you the main mess or was it Tay? Tatum. Yeah. But she always blamed it on me. Yeah. So I got the blame. What's your relationship with Tatum? You have a good time. You like get along. Sometimes. Sometimes. Are you are you like the big brother? You kind of bully her every now and then. Sometimes when she <laughs> when she when she starts it. And you finish it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then afterward, I make her cry. Then she goes to my mom. Then, then she gets pissed and sends me up to my room. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want to go to your room? No. Have you been grounded? No, but I yeah, but I always find a way out. Yeah, <laughs> you always found a way <laughs> out. The window. Oh <laughs> man, <laughs> that's pretty funny. I got the second floor, so can't hop out the window now. <laughs> See, I, <laughs> what? <laughs> the second this floor? This dude's talking about getting bed sheets, throwing them out the window, and crawling down them. Oh, man. Is that what you're going to do? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> got to learn how to tie a knot first. A good one. <laughs> I don't know how. Boy hey, Scott. Reed. I ask you this question every time I see you. Are you talking to any girls at school? One. One? Oh, Just sweet. one? Oh, dang. What's her name? Avery. Avery? Just one. He's a gentleman. And she's a dude. You go to you go to public school, right? <clears throat> oh, there's, oh, there's two. Oh, uh, okay. Chase, uh -oh. She likes me, but I don't really like her. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. It'd be like that, that sometimes. Sense. It'd be like that for sure. It's always it's the ones you're not into that like you. Yeah. Sometimes if it's too easy, you don't want it anymore. You know. Not at all. Um, one of the times I was here was a while ago. You're student of the month. Are you still doing good in school? Kinda. Kinda. You get I got student of the month like the first week yeah. uh, at school. What were you doing to get that? Just paying attention? Picking up trash. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's all it takes for what nowadays? Just because? No, people literally just throw trash on the ground and then just walk away. So you're cleaning up. Shows a lot about your character. Yeah. It's not a good thing to do. It's a very and good And when thing. you get in trouble at school at lunchtime, you sit in the cafeteria and just sit there. Until until lunch is all the way over, then you they make you pick up trash, <laughs> like with that grabber thing. Oh, I used to do that. How's but the lunch at your school? Good or bad? It's okay sometimes, but there's like sloppy joes and like <laughs> like slop. Is the cafeteria lady like sloppy joes? <laughs> <laughs> nice and sloppy, oh yeah. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> really? What's your favorite meal? Like, what's the one you look forward to? Burgers. 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 It's only like one day. Do you have pizza? They have pizza every Wednesday. Is it not good? It's like mids. They're it's like, like cardboard. These, they have like these moon pizzas, and they're like just like cheese on the top, like dough like all around it, and just like the pizza stuff, the red stuff inside of it. <laughs> it's just Heck? full of that. <laughs> Do you guys still have the milk cartons? Yeah. So it's the milk cartons? Yeah. yeah. So you kind of miss school lunches and you stuff. You get, like, chocolate milk, like, regular milk. or it's like... not in a bag? No. What? Are you a chocolate milk guy? <laughs> yeah, okay. Every day. Do they have strawberry? No. Have you tried strawberry? No. It's kind of crazy. So do you guys have the muffins, though, the chocolate muffins? We don't have chocolate, but we have banana muffins and stuff. Dude, honestly, like a secret. Or muffins. They're so disgusting. <laughs> really? I was going to say it's pretty OP if you just put the milk inside the muffin. What? I would I've always done that do that. Once. I don't know. I'm this may be like super off, off rip. Some people next to me, they always sit next to me, like shove their whole muffin in their milk. <laughs> they just try to pull it out. Dude, you guys may think I'm weird for this, but dude, baked hot Cheetos in school, I used to put mayo on them. Everybody else used to do it. It sounds disgusting. You guys probably look at me differently now, but it is actually really good. Just saying. Yeah, you I'm know what people used to do in my class? What? They used to tape rubber bands and fling them at the ceiling. Dude. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not a, a new thing. That you, That's always been around. <laughs> I had one fly by my ear one time, and I, like, was homeschooled Dude, like a week the later. Week, <laughs> like the end of the week, like the end of this last school week, like when I was leaving to go to France, somebody just flew it, and my teacher caught him, and he just got in so much trouble. 
And there's one kid that just had a bunch of gum underneath his desk. <laughs> Speaking of France, kid. you competed in France. I know. How'd you do? How'd you like it? It was fun. There's a bunch of sandbaggers, though. Really? Like, like just a bunch. <laughs> a bunch of older kids going against me. <laughs> really? Yes. That's how, how old were they? Like 18. They, they, were, they were, were in their like 20s. Really? There was people in their 20s. Do you 20s. think you would have had more competition if it was your age, though? Was there yes. enough people your age? Not a lot. I was like, I was like the second to youngest one. Oh, there was okay. one kid on a little tiny blue bike. Speaking of competing, I just heard that you are going to battle the Hastings. I am. Congrats on that. Thank we get you. a big round of applause from this huge crowd right here. That's pretty rad, man. I'm stoked for you. Yeah. What's your team? <laughs> what team are you on? Who, who's on your team? Boyd's. Boyd. And oh Boston. dang. Uh, I think. Jason Watts and Murray. Oh, uh, you like? I like watching Jason Watts ride. Yeah, yeah. he he's goes super, high. He's super unique too. He actually built. Yeah, he built that, the top of that box right there, and that whole box in that quarter pipe right there. Damn, dude, you have any plans for these ramps? Your dad was always building some crazy stuff. What do you? What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I want to build that little top right there. Uh -huh. I want to build like a quarter pipe right there, so you can like go like that and like a transfer, in into that. To the vert wall. Oh, that would be pretty rad. Yeah, kind of like that. Kind of like that, but except on flat, then just going like that and curving. So like a step up into a... Wait, what? <laughs> oh, sorry. I've seen them laugh, so I just had to laugh. So like something like right here, that way you can get speed and you could jump from the quarter into the vert oh, wall. Okay. No, like that. That one right there. Oh, so a step up into a quarter. No, he's talking about a, a wall ride. Yeah, wall ride. Oh, okay. Like oh, a wall ride, cool. like from there into the quarter. Oh my! Oh, that would be sick, dude. That would be lit. And maybe like a quarter, like on top, so they could get some speed and hop in. That what? would be sick. I could yeah, see that's you. That's a good idea. You have to show us one day. <laughs> I'll yeah, film dude. it. I'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So, who's your most inspiration right now to this day? I mean, besides for your father, you know, but like, who's the closest person to you you like to look up to? Uh, Kevin, uh, Praza. Uh, yeah, Kevin, and I don't know, Dubby. Yeah. Thanks, dude. There I see Johnny's go. always around. Yeah. He's like an older brother to you. Johnny's got some good style, dude. He's Johnny floaty. <laughs> he got good quick. Yeah, he did. He got good and like, he learned front flips. And then three days later, he comes and front flips the freaking spine. That's because Pat kind of made him do it. <laughs> no, he kinda, still, he still did it himself. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that the takes balls. The first time he did it, he like he always landed on his butt, straight <laughs> butt. <laughs> like he front flipped, what? He front flipped the one time, and he just landed in you know the crack like right there. Yeah. He just flew into the rocks. <laughs> and it was so funny. Then he waited like. Two months just to do it again. Two months, Johnny. What? Yeah, that's not the Johnny I know. Time. He's he's scared. <laughs> hey, how long did it take you to learn fakies? I le I learned them on my dad's bike right here. I was just trying them. And you just yeah. learned them in the same day? Right there. Yep. Good job. I One just dude. One day. I was just you're like, I was so squirrely on the, my first one. Yeah, I know. I saw it. And then I learned a bunch of them at Woodward everywhere. Really? I was That's trying to fakies everywhere. That's really good. So you got them dialed now? How long do a fakie front flip? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got to learn a front flip first. Fair enough. I, I, I actually learned fakie front flips before I learned front flips. Really? Yeah. It's easier than you think. You could ask Johnny. But, I mean, that's kind of a waste. But it definitely is easier than you think. So but go out there and do one. You were here. <laughs> you had the opportunity to watch your dad do the fakey cash roll. Were you? Um, do you I, remember that at all, or were you too young? I was, like, three years old. Yeah. All I remember was him coming up like this. <laughs> yeah. And he kept crashing. Yeah, he just kept bodying. Yeah. <laughs> and I seen the, the video you just came up and gave him nuts at the end. Yeah. That was right. High five. Yeah. I have some crazy videos of you when you were, like, super young. You probably don't even remember at all. Some good times. Probably. This kid, I remember going to contests, and this kid was, like, your age. Like, he was probably exactly, like, probably obviously older than you a little bit, and you were still winning all your contests. Oh, yeah. It was pretty gnarly. I yeah, did, yeah uh, that was a long time ago. I, I go to these, like, Hot Wheels events, 
I kind of stopped recently, but I was going to these Hot Wheel events. One time I got, I got like, fifth at the first one I went to. Then at the second one, I got second place. Dang. The one that, I think it was at, like, I don't really know where it was, but there was, like, a mini ramp, like, a spine. It was pretty fun. I got second place. Heck yeah. And the kid that won was kind of, like, streetish. Yeah. He was, like, grinding everywhere. I think that's why I won. Oh, really? Because he think was street? That's why he won. Oh, because oh, he was okay. street? Yeah. And he's, like. It was more of a street course? He, yeah, he was, like, faking everywhere. I couldn't fake he. Yeah. I was, like, only, like, I was, like, seven years old. So a year ago? Yeah. So now you got fakies. Now you can do suicides, 360s. Oh, yeah. I just recently learned suicides. I know. I saw you do it at X Games. You got to ride the X what? Games course. Yeah. How was that? <laughs> it was fun. That's, That's actually gnarly, pretty dope. Dude. The Super bowl, sick. The bowl's like, it goes, like, deep straight to high. It was, it was, that was a weird bowl. A lot of people were talking about that. A lot of the, the pro riders, they were yeah. saying that it was very steep. It was. I tried to go up there, and I was like, I looked down from that, and it was so steep. Yeah. It goes like this, like, it curves in. What style of riding are you enjoying more right now? Like, are you leaning more towards, like, dirt, street, park? Like, what, what are you having fun on? What's around me? Uh, yeah. Well, you got <laughs> dirt and park. You got dirt and park right now. Yeah, but I can't really do dirt. Yeah. I, my dad used to make me, like, little lines of dirt, like, back there. I remember that. Yeah, when I went straight to my head. i seen yeah. that video. <laughs> <laughs> I have some videos of you eating shit on those, too. Yeah, I remember just one time when I tried to do that, and I nose bonked. I nose wheelie the whole thing. Yeah. It was you, so sketchy. Do you uh do you ever focus on riding dirt bikes any? Like you you were riding dirt bikes for a bit. I used to race yeah. a lot. Um, recently, um, not recently, but like when I was, uh, like seven years old, like as soon as I turned seven, I was on my uh. I was on my dirt bike and it blew up. Uh, it seized on you. My sixty-five, it blew up, and I was like, I don't like fifth, fourth place, and I just like, I was trying to start my bike up, it wouldn't start. Then, the next thing you know, I ra I grabbed my practice bike because yeah. I had it to practice that day, and I I. I did not know how to shift. I was not good at shifting at all. And that's why the bike blew up. <laughs> you and were I was stuck in first? You just revved it out? I was like, <laughs> it was like a 450 revving. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then the next one, I was riding my neighbors. There's like a little track over there. And I was riding that, and I heard like, just like, loud. Really? Like, <laughs> And it just and blew up? I was riding it back. I was going down that hill over there. Boom. Blew up. Dang. Right when I'm coming down the hill. Dang. You're tough on sucks. dirt bikes. What? So you're tough on dirt bikes. <laughs> what, you seen? have you seen that video where I hit the log and fly over the bars? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they need to I get you one that you can't That one hurt so bad. I've seen the video of you clipping that one kid. Or like you guys got. Off the start? No, it was off. Like I think you guys oh. were racing and you guys clipped each other. Dirt bikes? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> you saw that. He <laughs> doesn't remember that. it. He only, he only saw it. Yeah. <laughs> so what was your, um, like, I'm, I'm sure your dad pushed you, but what was, like, your, your biggest inspiration when you rode with your dad? Did you want to learn, like, a bunch of tricks? I, learned, I wanted to learn what he did. I wanted to do what he did. Yeah. But I couldn't. I mean. I tried and tried, but I just couldn't. He took a lot of, it took a lot of time for him. Remember, did you ever see his backyard set up at his parents' house? Yeah, a half pipe. Yeah. Like that. With the spine in the... Yeah, that's, see, that's what he had to learn on. That's yeah. what it was here at one point, too. Yeah. He would come, and it was literally just the two quarter pipes and the spine. Yeah. No, Nothing actually, else. Actually, his quarter pipe that he had was eventually right there. Yeah. I it was think like a little, like... Dude, it looks big in the thing, but it was, like, it was kind of little. Yeah. It was just like right there next to the swing set. And then he built that section over there. Yep. Right, the middle section with the spine. He built the the spine. He only had the spine that the wall was not there. He, he changed the wall. The wall was straight up and now it's like kind of curved. Wow. 
Yeah. Slanted wall. Yeah. Damn, and you, your mom just got lights in. You always had the lights in. You always had lights, but they had to take them down for X Games. Mm, okay. that you makes know sense. how they have those like drone shots, like yep. the camera that slides? They had to do that. That makes a lot of sense. So they took the lights. So they took the lights down, and now we got lights back up. We just we just got them on recently. Wow, that's cool. So Reed, you uh, recently went to Woodward. Yeah. How was that? You have a good time going with Axel. That was sweet. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. You won a contest? Yeah, I got second place. Damn. The guy that won, he was kind of like streetish. He's like doing X ups everywhere. Yeah. He copied my run. Oh, uh, you <laughs> like the same way out? Not, not the same way out. He was like doing X ups everywhere. He like 360 the exact spot that I did. <laughs> Except the only thing he didn't do was double ET the box like 13 feet. Dang, you went 13 feet on double ET? It was like, like the size of that box, but it was like steep, so I kind of went like, like that. Oh. That setup kind of mellow. It it was fun. That setup like perfect for you too. I alley table et at the same time, but you have they didn't really. Me. They didn't really like. They didn't show it. They had like this replay replay screen, and they didn't. They did. I think I didn't catch the et in enough time. Yeah. So they didn't count it. So what was it like? You know. Going out there with Axel, like, what, what was Axel like? How was it? Was it a good time? Good vibe? It was fun. It was a bunch of kids, like, being mean to people, in, including me. Would they be mean to you? Yeah. They were, like, I don't really know, but, like, they were, like, the first one was, like, I, he, he hit a quarter. I was coming this way. He saw, he knew I was coming. He knew I was following him. We both collided. He threw his bike onto me, what like on onto my like back. Yeah. Because I was like on the floor. Yeah. I was trying to get up. I couldn't. And Axel said, "You mess his bike up. I mess your bike up." <laughs> he just screamed that. <laughs> Axel said that. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I'm. I'm. Yeah. Then the other guys, the other guys apologized to me. He did. Yeah. Yeah, Axel's a cool dude. He's like, seems like you guys have been spending a He's lot of funny. time. funny. Yeah, he is funny. Very funny. He called you Brace Face. <laughs> Everybody's been calling me Brace Face. How do you oh. like the braces? They hurt. Do they? It's like the wire. Yeah. It's like stabbing my cheek. I need to put wax on that. Uh, how do well, you, do you have to like watch out what you eat with certain stuff to get my I get stuck in the braces? I haven't really ate anything. You haven't ate. <laughs> He's not eating. <laughs> the doc, the the orthodontist told me to like, like every time you eat, brush your teeth mm -hmm. before and after. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, and she told me, mom. I looked at my mom after she said, "Have mom or dad brush your teeth, or not brush your teeth, but make you brush your teeth." And I was like, and I looked at my mom like. Like, does she know? <laughs> then then uh, we scheduled, like, you know when you get your bracelets a different color? Yeah. We scheduled, like, a different appointment to get, like, get a new braces color just to check on your teeth. Yeah, what yeah, color? Yeah. What color are you thinking? I don't know. Pink? Are those my pink? mom used to, these are red. Yeah. But my mom used to get black. Black? <laughs> really? That's core. <laughs> that is core. <laughs> your teeth look dirty, right? That's what I said to her, but my tooth, this tooth right here, this tooth hurts today, but this tooth hurt yesterday. My gap got a little bit closer overnight, but what? I woke up, I woke up at like one in the morning. I take pictures of, you know how I took a picture of Axel on the plane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took a picture of Johnny and my Uncle Kyle. <laughs> I keep, Leaving? And it was so funny. Johnny's mouth is like this. <laughs> then, then Axel was like this, like curled up and playing like this. <laughs> I've seen him getting photos of you too. Yeah, he got he got me so good. I was like on his shoulder like this. <laughs> so how long do you have to have braces on for? Uh, the top. I didn't get the bottom on, so I have two years. Oh, okay, you'll get so used to Because this one. This one's only a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I got both these on at the same time, I would have only had one year. Mm, That's not uh, too bad. 
so you were there. You, you got to experience Dubby get his silver medal. What was? Yeah. How did you feel about that? What was your situation you were in? I was watching it on TV because it was burning hot outside. Yeah, right. me and you, I was right next to you. I remember uh, you, the TV was right there, but we were there. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, we were, we were like over there, like behind, we were uh, where the athletes were. Yeah. I, and I remember somebody saying, when, when W gets podium, pour water on him. <laughs> and that's what we did. Then, then it was like, I don't, I don't remember what I said to you before. Oh, before. He came up to me right before I was about to drop in and he said, hey, W, you better win this shit for my dad. Yeah. Do you remember that? Now I do. And? Yeah. Did it fire you up or what? It fired me up. I didn't win, but I got a medal. <laughs> Dude, I, I mean, cool. regardless, I think it was so crazy. Like, like our Willie's trick is insane. Oh, yeah. It's crazy, you know? Um, Definitely. But, dude, like, for you to take a silver medal, like, it's it's so much better that you didn't land it the first try. Yeah, I agree. Because I'm, I'm not glad that you crashed. I'm glad that you crashed and got away and yeah. was, like, clean and was fine. Yeah. But, like, I was kind of, like, even beforehand, I was like, oh, dude, I... I don't want him to land it clean, at least the first one. I want him to take his feet off. I seen the first one, and I was like, all right, cool, all right. So I know he's going to lock this in now. Yeah. The thing about that is because when you crash, it gives you confidence to do it, it does. again. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that is true. Good job, dude. See, you you already know. Except it comes down to not, not for that backflip fly out. <laughs> 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 that backflip fly out, I've been doing it perfect in the foam pit at Woodward. I was trying it. The high jump, I got six feet. The Dang. high jump was like... You know how they had the rolling in West? Yeah. Well, you had a pedal. You had a pedal to get over. Mm-hmm. You got to air that went, quarter pipe and yeah, then. Yeah, I went eight feet the at West because there's that drop in. Yeah. But you couldn't use a drop in because it's only foam. It goes only. It only goes in foam. Yeah. And I was like, oh, you know that parkour guy too? Which one? Which one? There was like a. He has like blonde hair. Garrett. That's one of our know. friends, Garrett Casto. I think so. Yeah, he's on TikTok. He's really yeah. good. Dude. Yeah. And he did a he just learned his uh backflip back here. Fly yeah. Out. That was with me and what? and Kale. I was with me Kale, no, was Kale learned as well. Oh, okay, Woodward. then this is a whole different uh yeah, person. Different guy. Yeah. He was like he was so hyped and I'm like I'm showing him like that I could do it in the foam pit. And he's like, "Yo, you got that. You got that." And I'm like, "I know, I know. I just can't commit." Yeah. Who what's the youngest kid to do a flare? I don't know. I think you... It's nine or ten right now. I think you would be someone that could actually flare pretty easy. It's an easy trick if you get the I concept. Mean, I'm right. only eight, but my birthday is coming up. Yeah, so you could... Honestly, like, that'd be perfect for you to learn in a foam pit. How old is the record for first backflip? I think it's six. Yeah, it's six. Six. First backflip on um, BMX. BMX, yeah. Was it you, W? To do a backflip. No. <laughs> <laughs> that have Tay, Is dude. It? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Nine years old, dude. Nine years old flare. Yep. You did. Yeah. So W was doing flares at nine years old. You I got the right record now? right now, dude. You gonna Ooh, beat it? What's oh, up? Oh, that gets spicy. <laughs> it's there's actually really there's cool. There's a couple of kids that have the same. They got it done at the same age. And he landed so it. So if sketchy. you get it done at eight. How? Where's Johnny? Johnny, how old were you and you did your first flare? He was 14. He couldn't <laughs> drop in. He said he couldn't drop in. He literally learned flips and flares before he could drop in. That's hilarious. There's a video of you. You were so young. Your first ever time dropping in over there. Oh, it was down the box, wasn't it? No, it was on the quarter right there. And you went straight Do you want face. to my face? Yeah. I remember that. I bet. <laughs> How old were you? <laughs> Dude, I was and wasn't Hucker there? I don't Hucker remember. Said, oh no! Yeah. Hucker screamed that. You took it some slams. When I was there. little, I, I didn't care. Yeah. It's Still good don't. that you learn how to like crash early on though, because that's gonna serve you well in the long run. Yeah. That, definitely that's definitely will. gonna help you out because crashing. If you're not crashing, you're trying. And if you learn to crash before you learn your tricks, you learn how to get away from your tricks. I've crashed a lot. <laughs> yeah, and your dad was good at crashing. He learned how to get away from his tricks. So, um, I mean, not, I'm not that one. Yeah, well, you know, life's crazy. So, uh, to get on the topic of your dad, do you ever feel like you talk to your dad still, or do you ever like kind of like have like energy where you kind of just like is he in your mind at all? 
Yeah, I don't know why, but whenever I ride his bike, I get the chills and, like, I, like, do stuff that I don't normally do. You feel like he's watching you at times, too? Yeah, I don't know why. I just do stuff that I don't normally do. Yeah. Like, better things, too. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, just producing right now. That's cool, though. I mean, if you have that energy, he's probably just looking over you and just making sure you're going to be good, you know? And he probably wants you to do better all the time, riding and stuff. Because living that legacy of him, it's going to be sweet. You know, like like I said, he started on his little ramps, you know, and you get to wake up every morning here. The opportunities are endless. Don't ride it every day, though. I don't. Some days are chill. Yeah, you don't want to burn out. Yeah. You want to love You want to love it. You want to, when like, I, like, do it for, like, four days straight, I get, I just get so tired. Yeah. You got to take breaks every once in a while. Yeah. Do you play video games or anything? I was addicted to video games at like seven, like seven and six years old. I was like, I was playing like, my uncle got me Call of Duty. Then I got an Oculus. Oh, oh dang. dang. The they Oculuses are. are so fun. They are oh, super fun. They're but addicting. I got, I got that, the plank game. And I'm so afraid of heights. Oh, that's where you walk on the plank in VR? Yeah, it's so scary. Yeah. And you could either fly in the air or just drop. Really? And my friend Joey put it on for me because I didn't know how to do it. Yeah. And he pushed me, and I was so scared. <laughs> the Oculus just went flying across the room. <laughs> you thought you were falling? Yeah, I thought... <laughs> I thought I was done. Yeah, video games are video games are fun, like for they're every kid. They're realistic. But, but they're but they're like nowadays. I mean, it's rare when you find somebody your age not playing video games and riding yeah. a bicycle. It's cool. It's almost like you're one step ahead of everybody else, in a sense. Yeah, I got a PlayStation from my uncle Kyle, and because he didn't he did not like PlayStations. Really, he liked Xbox. Yes, he loved Xbox. Xboxes are better. I know. Yeah. And he gave me the, he knows. He, he, he knows. gave me the crapper, crappier one. <laughs> <laughs> Were you mad? No, because I didn't know. I didn't even know what it was at first. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, I was just, I was just like. Then he got me. I don't. He got me Tony Hawk Pro Skate. Oh damn! That was my That's first actually game. That's a cool game. That is a very cool but game. But then, now I'm seeing these other games, and I'm like, I want this game. Dude, speaking of games, sorry to cut you off. But did you see that game piped? It has this. I know it has setup. this. It's exactly the same. Have the game. It's it's on PC. It's on PC, you have to have mods. Yeah. Dude, it, it is the craziest thing. It's the exact same setup. They have the dirt not, jumps, everything. It's not the exact same though as yeah. this. As this. No, yeah. yeah. It was still. It was only like the spine, the step up, and like that quarter was still right there. I was just watching videos of the last night. For some reason, like I love watching video games. No, oh, yeah. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't like playing video games. You hear Jason? Like yeah. Jason Watts got in a solo. What is that? Like, a bunch of pro Fortnite and Call of Duty players, like a bunch of pros. Yeah. Somehow he got in and won. What? what? Wait, what? Jason Watts? Jason Watts is so, he's so good at video games. That does he got, not, he's good at building ramps, video games, and riding bikes. Dude, he gave me GTA and stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't be playing like, the story mode, dude. I'm not. <laughs> He, he gives me all these, like, cheap codes, like, to spawn cars, to spawn helicopters. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's rad. Like, to get uh, invisibility. You want to know something? What? You know, I made money off Fortnite competing. <laughs> I made, that's like, funny. I made, like, two grand off it. Really? <laughs> what? Build or no build? Yeah. You playing build or no build? No, build. You play build? Yeah. No. I was really freaking cracked at Fortnite. We, dude, we need to just get somebody to check on you. Build's yeah. cracked. Yeah, this, this kid. Bill it is crap. Dude, honestly, Dubby is a fucking nerd. Like, I believe I'm, it. I'm not gonna lie. Like Dubby is like an actual nerd. He will do like you told me some AI things that I didn't even know was even true. I'm like, bro, what? Like, what is it? Cause your dad's a nerd. Is that why? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, my dad's like super into computers, so I got into computers at a young age. I learned how to build a computer when I was like eight, and then from there on out, I just been. I mean, that's what I want to do when I'm done with BMX. I want to go to computers and start building security for businesses and, you know, really just make the Internet a safer place. Yeah, oh that is my. cool. A little Bill Gates. Damn, what the fuck, dude? Bro? I was I'm just saying Gates, earlier. <laughs> I was just saying earlier. My bad. Like, I was like, thank God W could ride a BMX bike because he didn't even know the word parched or 
quenched. I don't need to know any of that. I know. I was like, and now he's telling me this. So I need a supercomputer built. So am I going to come to you? And we a super co- like we're we're mining that? Bitcoin and stuff? No, I need something that like can do anything I can think of as far as 3D rendering. Can yeah, you help 3D, me with that? Okay, yeah. I see you probably need like a 4080. I already have that. Oh, you do? But I need like, to, I want to run two. Two GPUs. Two 4090s, preferably. <laughs> with like <laughs> with like 128 <laughs> gigs of RAM. Dude, you're going to be running a computer that can mine Bitcoin for you. That, me and I'm, I'm not, buy, right I'm not, I'm not into Bitcoin. Yeah. But the 3D world is like, right now, I'm kind of hung up on the graphics card and the RAM. So I need a supercomputer. Oh, okay. yeah. And if you're a wizard on the computer, I got you. Need your help. I got you. Honestly, know, the, the, a lot of the stuff that uh, Shelby made, he made like the, some sick 3D stuff. Like, he can make a full ass video game oh, if he wants to. Really? Uh, that I heard some things about MX bikes, and there's a future. The hey, future's yeah. bright, dude. Hey, We're going to be doing some stuff here That's soon. That's sick, dude. dude. There's a lot of money in that. And it's pretty wild. Like, just like the, the amount of work he put in to make it happen. I'm like, bro, what the hell? But I mean, time is everything. Time time is everything. everything. It is. Render times, like, dude, everything. Sometimes you'll be sitting there for three days for one thing to render. Well, I put six months into one video, so I p- compiled all my projects into one video, which is, like, a minute long. Okay. So, like, people see a video, watch it on Instagram for a minute. Like, oh, that's sick. Scroll. They don't realize, like, six months went into it. So. Yeah. So That's, that's the hard part about doing video, you know. Yeah. Making videos with like, the, people don't understand how much time goes into doing it. They just, like, especially with all this YouTube stuff and all that, people are like, oh, these kids are making millions of dollars doing nothing. In reality, I mean, some of them are paying it for editors, but the kids that are editing, they sit there all night for freaking days trying to edit this video, and then it comes out and people are just like, this kid did nothing to just do Just to turn around and do it again it. the next week. <laughs> yeah. I don't edit any do you, videos. Do you you, uh, you want to start a channel at some point, right? Or I you have one. a channel, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was posting a video of at Woodward actually. Heck yeah, that's rad. Honestly. And I actually just learned to fix my tube there. Oh, you learned how to fix your tube? Yeah. That's a good thumbnail. What? Honestly. No. Eight year old fix. Did you? Tube. Cause I heard you fixed your tire in the garage the other day. I did. I did so twice. Did you learn, oh, you. So did you learn at Woodward or did you learn here? Here. <laughs> then I did it at Woodward. Oh that's dang. Rad. Oh, he did it how like you like. Probably for the video he did like. Yeah, there's a bunch of glass. Oh. There's a bunch of glass in those bowls at Woodard. Really? Why? I don't heck? know. I've never been to Pennsylvania. I just I remember I, I pretty much lived at. It rains Woodward. a lot. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, it's a different world over there. Except, except Mini Mega. When it's wet, you could slide down it. Did you hit that, Mini Mega? Do you watch TikTok? I have YouTube Shorts. That's the wave. Yeah. He already knows. Look at that. What's on, on your what's TikTok. on what's on your YouTube shorts mainly? Uh first backflip, eight years old. That's what that's what my dad posted. First backflip. Oh, eight on eight your years YouTube. Old. Yeah. Like what what, what Not do you on see my on YouTube, yours? but like on YouTube. What like type of videos shorts. do you watch? Anything that pops up. Not what pops up normally, like on your feed when you're scrolling. You know those like when you press bikes? There's like BMX. There's like BMX on the. There's usually like BMX on the thing, like on the top. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wa- I just press that. That's cool. Yeah, the bike videos are just like. You can tighten the sides as well. Like my dad, it's just kind of like my dad and just old videos. Yeah. We actually just watched one a day. It was so funny. Do you remember that video where my dad? Throws a baby doll out and says, T- "Oh, Tatum, Tatum, oh, yes. are you okay?" <laughs> Dude. Yes, I just watched hilarious. that for the first time. That's where he does the whiplash right here, and it hits him, hits the baby doll, right? Yeah, in the head. Yeah. <laughs> it hits the baby doll when she's sitting there. It's like then it goes to, then it goes to her laying on the floor. <laughs> no <laughs> way! Like, you didn't see those videos? That makes me excited to have kids. <laughs> Do stuff like that. It was hilarious. What was your then, favorite uh, Pat video in general? Like his favorite edits. I don't really watch a lot. Really? Like, you watch all the dream yards though, right? That you was got like, to experience some. Yeah, I don't know how many, I don't I don't know how many there is in there four or three. Four. Oh right. I I didn't watch the four. <laughs> <laughs> the four is four is really cool. It's when he did the backflip decade. Oh right Answer. there? Yeah. On the open loop? Yeah. Third is great. Cool. It's super sick. Isn't that when I made do you remember the Dream Yard Clinic when he's sending 
uh, I don't know if it was back flip decade or front flip decade. It was in back, the front. Head, back flip decade. In the front to Rezzy. Yep. And the, but he tried and tried and tried, and he couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. Then the last, when everybody was leaving, he did it. Yep. Yeah, he just wouldn't give up on tricks, though. I know. Yeah. In Dream Yard, in the end of Dream Yard 3, when he's trying the fakey cash roll, he says, it comes down to the trick defeating you or are you defeating the trick. Mm-hmm. So true. Very, very true. I and mean, it's like, honestly, I guess that's some cool thing. Let me see your hair. Uh, Let me see the thing you got. I got X two. Games, they had a barber at the athlete lounge, and he got PC on the side of his head right there. And then the other side, you got Dad. Yep. That's so sick. rad. That is sick. <laughs> that's then super I got, sick. And I got the little Dread in France. Ooh. Mm, from Camacho, right? Yep. That's Still sick. There. Heck yeah. So who's your favorite BMX rider to watch? I mean, there's there's Kevin Peraza, it's obvious, and then there's um, your dad, obviously. Like who who else besides you know? Be, Kevin is inevitable. Uh, probably one of your favorites. Jason. Yeah. And Chris Fox. Yeah, Chris. You Fox. like the way how fast. Dude, Chris he goes. Fox and them and Jason, they go so high. Yeah. Yeah, Larry too, huh? Dude, Larry blasts. Yeah. Everything. That's but pretty nice. Chris Fox is going like. Four, five feet up there. Like, up the freaking... The vert wall. Yeah. Did you hear what happened on the last... Uh, when they built the whole thing? Johnny, Jason, and Chris got in a car crash. Oh, yeah, they did. They what? went through an intersection yeah. and got hit, right? No, it was right next to Miguel's, and somebody ran into him. <laughs> they were all fine, though, right? <laughs> yeah, Chris was kind of in shock, though. Oh, Chris was. I uh, I didn't know because I was in Mexico when it happened. Oh, you your uh, your mom's parents live in Mexico. Yes, we your were grandpa, we were visiting uh, Duma, <laughs> yeah. and my papa. What's your favorite place to travel? Where the where's the coolest place you've been? I like France, but. Some of the people were, they don't act like they speak English. That that. Is the main thing in France. They'll act like they don't speak English when they really do, and then you go. Africa up to them. was really cool. I gotta go with Australia though. Australia. Yeah. Australia is That's sweet. where I learned the backflips. Yeah. You like our our Willie's a good rider too. Yeah. Huh? Our Willie's got some crazy tricks. I know. He's a big. Um, favorite. Australia and Brisbane. That's actually when he did the front flip. Uh. I think he did a front flip while he's doing a front flip. No bike front flip. flip, nothing front. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see he, what he did in Nitro Circus? He did, um, front knee, Superman seat grab, to bar spin. Oh, at the same yeah, time. he did that. Yeah. That was gnarly. Yeah, he, but he was I while he was that. Superman. He was doing a bar spin while he was on the Superman. Dude, some of the tricks he does. Yeah, he was doing like that. And the Superman at the same time. So crazy. I just watched it today, and that's so sick. Your dad and Dubby, they adapted to that nitro ramp so uh, they just, quick. They just sent it. Yeah. You I remember that one time, the, I think it was the first time we went to nitro. You did a, I was it a quad whip or something? Quintel whip? Yeah. Five yeah. whip. I remember oh I was there with you, God. and that was crazy to watch. Really? Dude, it was so insane. Oh, wasn't that oh, you're when you in a helicopter, bro? Wasn't that, you when, <laughs> wasn't that when you and Jackson or someone got in the sumo wrestler suit? Oh something? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember oh, that. That was funny. The sumo wrestler suit is so funny. I showed up a little late, but it was really cool to watch. <laughs> and then he left after I was literally about to do the Quinn whip in the show, and I'm like, "Where's Shane? I need him to film this." I was watching from the top. Oh, he's gone. I was like, oh, yeah, sick, dude. This guy's my best friend or something like that. Oh, come on. I was watching from the top. I was blown away. I was like, no way. <laughs> I wasn't going to film. I filmed it, but it was probably shit. Uh, they said you went out and were partying with some chick. I was like, all right. Ah, dang. Yeah, we were, like, we were like down below where all the people were. Yeah, I was there, and then I kind of just went up to the top. <laughs> so you're eight, and you've obviously traveled a lot. I think my first trip was Mexico. Does that make you want to travel more? And if yes. so, like, where's somewhere you would like to go? France was fun. Somewhere you haven't been. Oh, uh. Uh. Dubai? Dubai would be sick. Um, well, I'm going to 
whatever. England. You're going to the yeah, UK. Yeah, I'm going to England and London. Oh, too, and so. for your ninth birthday, and you're competing. Yes, it's Battle Hastings is on my birthday. Dang, dude, what? that's yeah. gnarly. Like, there's not many other kids in the world traveling, traveling like you at your age. No, it isn't. You should take that in. Like, damn, I'm sick. So, <laughs> so not, so not London and England because I'm going there. Yeah. I want to go to see the uh, New York. New York. Oh, New York. Are you York. gonna visit Ryan Taylor? I know he was close with your dad. He's going to. Um, I think he's. He'll be in England. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I don't know. That'd be cool to go meet. He said up he's him. getting Ubers for us and like, Uber Eats and stuff. Yeah, he he's Apparently. a cool dude. He's at the, Johnny's going with us too to England. Oh, Johnny's going too. Wow. I uh, remember. Yeah, Johnny was. Uh, couldn't figure out like the know where he went. The way to get out there, but Chase figured it out. Your mom is like the full time manager around here. She helps everybody out. I know. Yeah, she's the best. She's a hustler. <laughs> Do you ever uh, take the time to appreciate her and tell her how much you love her all the time? Yeah. Yeah. She does a lot for you. Really cool lady. That's sweet, man. So, uh, if you were to talk to your father, what was something you would say? I want to see you again. Yeah. I understand that, man. And she, he's always going to be here for you. I know. He's always going to be. watching us right now. 100%. Mm-hmm. He's sitting he right there. He always will be. Right next to you. And he's important to us. He's important to you. And life's crazy, but it teaches everybody everything. And he was a gift. He was a blessing to everybody. And I don't mean to go super heart to heart on you. You're a young kid and, you know, life's crazy, but... We're definitely, you're you're a man now, you know. Like you're eight years old, but you're like. I know. I everybody started coming over when I was like three years old. Yeah. And they were like, they were doing everything in front of me. Yeah. And then I was like, um, the first time uh, everybody came over, I was like, who are this guy? Who are that guy? Yeah. And I didn't know anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Then. I remember I seen a video of you when you were like little coming up. Mm-hmm. You were like in your. Uh, my mom was talking about your phone message. Hello, it's Caden. Yeah. Or something like that. Hello, when you it's were like, Caden. Please yeah. leave a message. <laughs> <laughs> it was like when I was ten. <laughs> yeah, your voicemail is still. Yeah, it's yeah. tiny voice. D- uh, your voice is not deep. Bryce said the same thing. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, so how long have we been going? Been What's time. the time on the soundboard, Tyler? Uh, hour five minutes. Hour five minutes. Dang, it's been an hour. It's been it's gone by quick. Yeah, it's been fun. It's, it's been, been thirty minutes. It's been a vibe. Yeah, <laughs> we got like a fifteen minute buffer. Braces yeah. hurt. Yeah, your braces hurt. It was funny. Is like braces stink, but the day I got my braces off, I've never smiled so much in my life, dude. It was an incredible day. Dude, when I smile. I have a, my wires, I got in my cheek. Oh, oh, so you can't oh a little smile. bleeding last yeah. night. I And I can't smile because every time I smile, the cheek goes into my wire. I think that's what the wax is for, though. It is. I, I put on wax last night, and, and whenever I eat, I chew it up. Yeah. So I can't eat. I have to take my wax out. But luckily, the, the lady gave me two, like, well, things wax. Some of what um, what is some of your most memorable moments like just uh, riding here? Stuck in my teeth. Right here. In general, like even if it's God, you know, I just I really got to say it was recently, just the sessions that like I just it's it's weird. I had a weird feeling to where I felt like I had to remember these sessions. Like every session I had here recently was like. I don't even know the word for it. I just had a feeling to where I I knew I had to remember them. Yeah. Like I had to be grateful that I was riding here with Pat while he's, Yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So these sessions recently, they've just been so crazy. We've been freaking progressing every single day. Like, like I just said, we were sending seven fronties, you know. I tried Quint Whip on the freaking step up. We tried freaking, me and Pat were trying three double whip down whip. Like, the sessions have just been were just crazy recently, so I gotta say these were probably the best memories I've had here. 
But one of the craziest memories I have is of this dude. Pat has like would never let me drive a golf cart. Yeah. And he was like, "All right, yeah, you can go drive the golf cart." And he's like, "But you have to take Reed." Cuz Reed was crying and throwing a fit. He's like, "Why can't I go?" <laughs> so I get this dude on the golf cart. He's sitting in the seat. I think it was me and I want to say Jacob? it was Marcus uh, Christopher was with me. He was? We're dri- yes, this was the first time Marcus ever came here. But we are driving. Was, was Marcus the dude that was in France? Yes. The one that got second or third? Yes. The one that recently crashed at X Games. Yeah, I know. And he shot. That yeah. was, I saw the picture. That was, that was so gnarly. Insane. Super gnarly. But we're driving up this dirt road. And I look at Reed, and he goes, watch this. Jumps out of the golf cart. <laughs> As we're driving down the street, I look back. He's rolling on the floor. I fucking, like, press on the brake. I go and get him, and he's like, I'm good. He, like, like saw it on YouTube 30 three minutes. Or four years old. Three years, like, I was just, I was scared. I thought I was going to have to bring back Pat a dead child, bro. Bro, what? <laughs> like, dude, bro, he what? jumped out of the golf cart. I was like, what the heck? I remember that. Dude. Wasn't it, like... Right over there. Yeah, right on that dirt road right there. You yeah. just jumped like, out. Like when I'm coming out. Like yes. when you're coming out. You just wanted to do it or what? I thought it would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's just hilarious. full on swan dive, dude. I was like, what, <laughs> what the fuck? Tuck and roll, baby. Was Marcus yep. Christopher in there? Uh, he was actually his little brother was in there. Oh. Yeah. What was uh, What's your most memorable moment traveling? What? What's your most memorable moment traveling? Like what was your favorite time? Like, what did you do, like, a specific time? Who were you with? What was uh, it? In Australia, Chris Courtney, it was it was a great time there. Oh, is it at that, uh, what compound is that? It's, the, village. the village. Yes, it, it was so fun. Yeah. It's, it, it's like, crowded, but it's fun. Yeah. You just use a job it anyways. Yeah, and by the end of the week, I I got my line down. I could, I get 360 up a step up. Yeah. I was, it was dialed. Australians are tough, man. You ever think about that? They're like tough as nails. I know. Dudes. The All the guys are sending triple, fl- all the guys that are sending triple flips are Australian. Yep. Yeah. Did you, yep. you had to dude, go to Jay Arlie. Archer, dude. That guy's crazy. He's gnarly. He and he's jacked. I know, he dude. Is. He gave me a hug when he didn't have a shirt on. <laughs> dude, he's so, he's so buff. <laughs> <laughs> so is Harry Bean. Yeah, being Harry yeah. Bink, yes, he is big, dude. Yeah, he is. He big. tried a fronty too. Yeah, did what? you watch that? I didn't really see it. Yeah, dude, he at X Games he crashed on the first front flip, and like got up perfectly fine. He was like mad. He was pissed, and went and like mentally prepared himself for his second attempt. Yeah, he crashed and jumped right back up. <laughs> dude, he crashed hard on the second one too. Aussies are built. Different. Yeah. You, you should have seen him in Nitro World Games, bro. Yeah. That triple flip. <clears throat> Jay did it first. Then he, then uh, Jay, like, encouraged uh, Harry Bink to, like, to do it. Like, you got this, like, pump, pumping it up. Like, you got it. You got it. Just send it. And my dad was like, he's going to send it. He's going to send it. And he did it. <laughs> you did is this it. something you want? Eventually in life, because I know this is something you always dreamed of. Yeah. Welcome to the big leagues, buddy. This is mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. This is cool, I'll be at man. Your front door. That's rad. That's a that's a memorable piece of equipment right there. I bet, dude. I bet you I'm gonna win more than one of those. Yeah, yeah. you are. I like I'm that. Trying. I believe it. Grinding, dude. Dude, the confidence is key. I love that. I know you will too. Honestly, you you grind out. You work your ass off. You'll get there. For sure. You will. Just keep gnarly. doing your thing, dude. Yeah. X Games, thing, Reed. X Games has always been, like, the biggest thing in action sports for me since I was a kid. So to be able to, like, even touch this right now is gnarly. Really? Yeah. I don't know if I'll ever have one, but, like, I'm holding one. Yeah. <laughs> I know, and Sweet, man. I That's thought bad. Scooters was Scooter in X sick. Games, too. Yeah, that's brother. Are they gonna Are they going to add Scooters in X Games? I don't think so. I the don't. The reason yeah. being is um, I think – and nothing towards scooters because I ride scooters. I like riding yeah. scooters. Yeah, same. But um, <clears throat> I don't ride scooters, but I like to ride scooters. <laughs> um, I think it's the sponsors that are sponsoring X Games 
Yeah, I think they, don't um, they don't really like, like as scooters much. And a as lot of much these... as BMX and skate. Yeah, so a lot of people that are paying for their labels to be in X Games, some may pull out, and then it's bad for their business. They don't yeah. want the vault, yeah. yeah, because they, they pay a lot of money for their stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, man, I mean, is there anything else you want to bring up? Anything you guys want to talk about? It's been a good podcast. You've done super well. Awesome. Yeah, I've done really well. It's been you. sick. Yeah. It's been actually a good opportunity. I've talked to you a lot, obviously. I'm, I'm around you all the time. But this is a different type of opportunity I get to hang out with you guys. I got one more thing I want to bring up. What do you think of that RC car that Rizzy just got you? Oh, dude. Oh, yeah, let's talk about that. Oh, you want you want me to grab it right now? It's full charged. <laughs> I honestly think you should. <laughs> we should finish about how you got it, what what you did done to it, and then we'll grab it. Okay. So what we, Rizzy bought you an RC car. It was like $900. Yeah, no, it was like it was 500 it was five hundred and sixty nine bucks. But he pa- but he paid all together nine hundred for that bat no, it, rocket. Yeah. No, dude, it was uh, freaking like six hundred. No, the battery itself was a hundred bucks. Yeah. And what's even crazier is we were going to Hobby Town just to get parts. Yeah. <laughs> and Rizzy just. And said, we didn't even get parts. We didn't even get parts. We came we came home here with a brand new car. I knew there was a reason you didn't want to take your car. You there was no reason. To know. know what parts you needed. You knew what you were getting. <laughs> I needed a new car. <laughs> you got it. And we got a... It's durable, too. Um, so, recently we had, a, like, a tracks issue, and he and he gave me, like, a little race car. I was right here on the grass. I was doing, like, donuts, and, it, and a tire flew off and hit the guy. Really? <laughs> and he got pissed, and he didn't <laughs> talk to me for the rest of the time. <laughs> and he said bye. I gave him a hug. I said, I'm sorry. It was it was the same it was the same type of that car, and I knew that's why I got that car. It was so durable. Yeah, I know we were we were all betting on how how long is it gonna take you to break this thing. Dude, I don't it's know how. Time. I don't know how it's still. I don't know how it's still working. I mean, you have to stress test it, like you know, for the manufacturer. Better. You could do better. They need to know how to build it better. So you're the guy to find out for yeah, them. That, yeah, that's what I'm asking, Stasic. Yeah. Uh, my Stasic is in the shop right now because. It just blew up recently. It was, it was, it was so fun. I know you were mobbing like, that thing. I was like doing like no foot cans right here. It was so fun. I was doing suicides. <laughs> That's rad. Well, W, what's what's your future plan, man? You got anything idea? Anything you would talk about? I mean, congratulations, by the way. We're, we're all very, very proud of you. It wasn't Thank if, you. it was when, and I'm glad it happened the way it did. Yeah, so. I mean. Definitely some more medals in the future. Oh, for sure. Maybe. Our Willie, I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to learn friendly that. Friendly competition, right? Friendly competition. I love our Willie. I've always looked up to him. But I'm going to learn that front flip, nothing from bike flip. <laughs> <laughs> just to do it in You don't contest. need to do that. Just to do it. You I just what? want to pull up. I don't want to tell anyone. I just want to do it and then just be like, sorry. You know what you need to do? You uh, need a nothing front bike flip tail suicide up. tail whip. What? <laughs> That'd no. be so sick. <laughs> that would be sick. But holy, I don't, know, have I don't know about that one. There. I know, dude. That'd be gnarly. We need to find you a big setup to just go hard on. I think Jared's would be the perfect. If our Willie's yeah. watching this, then he might send it. <laughs> yeah, he might yeah. send the nothing front. He will. The whip. Yeah, man. That is. J2E, J2E's run is pretty cool, too. J2E, that, I got to give a shout out to J2E real quick. Because the amount of strength that goes into doing a nothing front flip, uh, nothing it's front tail whip, flip, dude. and then catch it, and it's all core strength to bring that tail whip around, dude, mad props to that guy. Also, mad props to freaking David Godziak for doing 360 wow. body burial. That was, dude, uh, that was so sick. It was just, it, I, I feel bad for the judges he, because of how crazy that He was. came here yeah. the next day after X Games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did like a little night sesh like we're going to do later, and he rode his mountain bike. And bro's doing freaking, he freaking, I don't know what he did, but it was so gnarly. He like, he foot plant that. He's, he's a very creative writer. I know. He's like, he's technical. Yeah, very technical. That's a, That's sweet, man. I'm not expecting Reed to say technical. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big word, dude. I didn't even know that word. <laughs> <laughs> well, um... Yeah, sweet. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. And honestly, Reed, good luck this uh, upcoming contest you're going to be in. That's pretty rad, and I'm super stoked for you, and I'm super stoked for the future 
of you and watching you grow as a person. And same with you, W. You're yes. only 19 years old. I'm excited to watch it. Me and him are both very excited for everything you guys have done. Um, is there anything you guys want to say? Everything's good. You guys got everything out. Everything's good. good. Elves. I think this was now, solid. Now I just got to show him the RC car. Yeah, it is RC car time. But um, yeah. Thank you guys so it. much for watching. I appreciate all of you guys that stuck around and stuck around with this podcast. It's a little bit different of a podcast. We got an eight-year-old and a nineteen-year-old right now, and I had a great time, honestly, getting the inside of this kid. And it's it's a, it's a beautiful area we're in, and the ramps are insane. This life is crazy. Honestly. First podcast ever. First podcast ever. Eight years old. Good stuff, Ooh. dude. Good Thank stuff. you guys for having us. Love you, boys. Love you too. Peace. Ooh.